It's something else. Not a PS5, you guys. Totally not a PS5. Uh-huh. Do you like organizing things on shelves? Well, boy, I've got the game for you. This is Trader Life Simulator, out now on the PC for a price of $20. As always, full disclosure, they sent me a copy. I'm a tax slug. Let's continue. I have a shop. I have some things on shelves, and I'm running my own small business, and I'm not very good at it, I should mention. But the game begins you here in your home with some very tiny hallways. It is currently 7 a.m. in the day, and these empty rooms, it is raining out. That is my car down there, my truck down there, and we're gonna head to our shop and hopefully make some money today. We're already currently, things are being sold. Now, that being said, there's no bathroom in the bathroom right now. It's, it's in the shop because you're gonna be spending a lot, all your time in the shop. I put the bed down here, because why not, right? So, not only are you running a shop, you also have things like a survival game. So you need to use the bathroom and sleep and shower. I don't know how to shower. I'm not sure if the rain helps with that, but hey, it's raining out. Rain on me and get me clean. I don't know. Now, also, you must cons consider that your car needs gas, oil, and repairs. So this is very much a total simulation in a whole lot of facets, and it's kind of wild in what it does, but I guess also what it doesn't do, it's weird, man. It's real weird. So let's have some basic best burgering here into town. Uh, I will say the number one thing I hope they fix at some point. All right, here's my shop. I named it. What are you buying? What are you selling? So the number one thing here with this shop with this game is that the map, which shows you, all right, here's the town, here's where you're at, right? We're here at our store, our home is here, but you can't see where you are, where I am, on the map, and that's a problem when you don't know where to go. Now, obviously, at some point, you play enough of it, you're gonna learn where things are, but right now, it's hard to figure out what is going on. This is my shop right now. I have one shelf with some organic biscuits, some powder for washing, some jam, uh, some diapers, pe pepper softener, and yeah, that's all, all I got right here. So it's my cashier. Uh, most people in the game look the exact same. It's not very high budget, so you know, there's that. But it has a lot of systems in it, which is kind of wild. So uh, let's check out our storage here. And I've got nothing right now in storage besides a toilet. We're gonna take a leak in that toilet and now our urine here is at zero and we're good. I don't know how to clean myself, which is kind of a strange problem to have, but I don't know how to do it. So again, I played about a half an hour thus far. Now, once you buy things uh, to put on your shelf, you can kind of just pick it up and put it wherever you want and however you want to store it and place it and organize it. It is all up to your own discretion. So obviously I uh, had to pay that guy there for the work. And back here is my laptop where I can organize things and uh, get upgrades. So let's get a paper stand here in the shop, do that. Uh, but also you see auto open, auto close when you're out of stock and auto pay the bills and you can hire more cashiers. You can buy a farm and buy a second floor at five grand. I'm not at five grand yet. So, you know, a ways to go. And you'll see there, Anytime someone walks in and says, hey, you don't have this. Well, then maybe go find that and buy that. And how that works is manually going to find that and buy that. So if I wanted to, A, eat food here, I'm hungry. I got to eat the food. Now, some food you'll eat instantly. Like right here, I reduce my hunger to 13. But some food, you got to find a table, put it on the table, and then hit the E button to eat the food, which is really freaking wild. Why is my bank count at negative 50? Uh-oh. Let's go to the ATM, to the bank here, and put some money in the bank. Don't want that overdraft fees. Got some security here in the bank, sir. So yeah, there's a lot of systems. Uh, let's transfer from the wallet to the bank. We'll transfer a hundred bucks and do that. There, all right, so 50 in the bank and three in my, in my wallet there, I'm good. I can get a loan for a thousand dollars or you can start on easy mode and get more money there than the actual Standard, what are you buying? So the way things work here for actually being a trader is that, well, this map is kind of useless, but 
I do want to head to a shop to buy some things. This one over here, this big old one over here. So let's close this. You can hit M to open the map, but you can't hit M to close the map. Again, some weird design decisions in this game overall. That, like, it's kind of wild how it's all set up. Also, can I buy a smartphone? I've, I've heard that's essential for the game. So also put on the lights here because it is raining out. Uh, but also leave the vehicle. How much are the smartphones, sir? How much for your finest iPhone? Yep, they're all here. How do I... Buddy? Alright, yes. In to use the phone. So, animals, notes, taxi, vehicles, and complaints. And my shop rating. So I can't sell my own electronics until I actually have a shop, a sh a shop rating of 50. And it goes up when someone finds something, and it goes down when they don't find what they want. So they were like Batista, saying, give me what I want. Now, like that. There's not a whole lot of other, like, the people in the world kind of don't really interact with you, and don't really move, and it's kind of bare bones on a lot of stuff. But also weirdly deep on a lot of stuff, which is kind of crazy for what it is. And what it does, there's an ATM in the world. I want to go, where was the burger joint? I gotta go down this main drag here and head back down to the burger joint and go buy some stuff for my shop. So you can get some fast food here to get your hunger down, which is good. I still don't know how to get clean. There is the gas station. Yes, you gotta go get gas when you need gas for your car. Um, and we're making money, but you can't get the money until you actually go to the cash register and get the money out of the register. Also, don't crash your car. So here we are in uh, the main shop, or one of the main shops, to get ourselves some more goods. And you physically go into the shop here. It also tells you, is this currently a high price, a low price, or a good price? So I wanna sell some Freedom Burgers because Marika, they cost $161 for a case of them. Not just one, a case. So anything you buy here, you get a whole case. And you put that case in the back of your car or truck here as such and say, hey, there we go. Put the case in the, it goes in here somehow. There it is. And you can kind of only carry two cases. And unfortunately I'm down to $48. So I can take out of the ATM here to get to where I need to be or I can go back to the shop. And so it's a lot of busy work. Right? Alright, this is, uh, 45. So we have 48. Let's buy a case of these. We're down now to $11. Fine. Fine. And we'll put this in the car here with the other one. And then drive back to the shop. So, it's weirdly engaging on a lot of levels in that there's constantly a thing to do. And I think having the map get memorized is kind of, at this point, the most important part of the equation. I think I took a wrong turn there, so we're just gonna kind of coast around here because again, the map is terrible. So I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. Uh, all right, that's the car shop. No tuna. I'm sorry. That's the car shop, and when you want repairs, you go to the car shop. Or I would say to buy more vehicles when you get the farm to so get tra tractors and bro. There's kind of a lot in here, in this game. All right, here's back. What? That's the trading company. I haven't been in there yet. What's the trading company do what's how do they operate is anybody here good sir fine sir it's raining in the building you need a new roof good lord um i don't see anybody oh hey the one guy here is is good business buy stocks for seven thousand dollars i don't have any money bro so yes there is a stock market component in this game as i said it looks very simplistic, and some stuff is weirdly, like, archaic or just kind of janky. But it's also a strangely satisfying thing to play because it's just the amount of actual functional systems in the game are weirdly compelling in a way. And that's kind of wild. No milk chocolate. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. So you need to, like, I think ideally you'd want to have your store set up. Alright, there's the furniture shop. Where am I? I'm at where the furniture shop is, which is where? 
Um, furniture is this thing here, this couch. So I'm a straight shot. Yes. I gotta turn around here and make a right. And that heads back to where the main drag strip is here. It just auto saved, but generally you manually save at your laptop. And that is the exporting. Wait. Huh? Exporting goods? Where's that? There's furniture. I'm on, the, I'm on the other side of that. Okay, okay. So, I'm at the anchor. Alright, back down this road. Make a left. Make a right. And make a right. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah. Again. No noodles. Noozle? What noozle? So, a left, a right, and a right. And I should get back to where I need to be, which is my shop. To do things and, you know make money and I don't know man look left and then a right and then a right it's a weird game like I'm not sure how much I can recommend it I guess unless you're into this very very particularly weird thing that it does which is like on a, on on some levels it's really cool uh, and our hunger is fine and we don't got a pee so that's good but I don't know how to get clean so that's a problem let's go park in the back dock here and then hop in the back way like so open the door close the door back to work so it's not raining in my shop but it's raining on the other sections of the world so that's oh but also but also now that we're almost out of everything here but also uh get that you got to actually get the, get the boxes out of your car or your truck and bring them inside. Also, I left that freaking lights on, so put that out. It's The amount of sim in this game is weirdly compelling to me. Like, it makes you manually do everything, which I guess uh, in real life would be just very tedious. And hey, that's doing a job. It's actually like labor. But somehow in a video game, it's kind of like, all right, this is like... Turn off your brain and kind of just go to town on what you're doing. Now that burger thing might not work because you need, uh, uh, you need to put that in a thing that you can have cold. I don't have any cold storage here, so that might go bad. But the spray, I can totally put the spray on the shelf. And yeah, it's just this. Like this is the core of the game, and it's kind of wild that there's a game that, that does this. Uh, because as somebody who used to work in a supermarket, I did this for a living for uh, a number of years on the night crew. But obviously, I, I didn't have my own shop, but I worked at a major supermarket for a bit um, in my younger days before YouTube. And yes, uh, it is kind of crazy and weirdly, like, satisfying in a way. I'm not sure how to really ex explain it, but... Alright, so the burgers here might go bad. Um, but best taste ever! So yes, they have, they're they supposed to be frozen, which is a problem. Requires fridge. I don't have a fridge. How much is the fridge upgrade? How much is the fridge going to cost me? Um, what does that look like? So coffee, spots a vending machine... So my understanding now, and how this game works, is that I need to actually go buy a fridge from the place that sells the fridges, which would be, I don't know, electronics shop, which is not that far from here. It's um, down the road on the corner by the meat shop. So we'll go look at that. And if it costs too much, then we're done for today on this video because you kind of get the idea on how weirdly specific of a niche this game is filling. Like it's, it's something all right. I think right now it is on sale for 10 bucks. So if, if it looks cool to you, then there's a link in the description. But it's weird, man. It's really funky. No cat food. No cat food. So there's shops here down on the corner, I think. Yeah, if I go past the laptop shop and round the corner here. Uh, I, I wish hitting M closed the map. But besides that... And also, I don't know how to get clean. 
Here we go. All right. So, electronics. Is there... I see ovens. Is there a fridge in this world? So, yes. We have the fridge. It is $1,500. I should not have bought those hamburgers because now they're going to go bad. And, bro, you look very angry to be working here. But, yes, you can buy a oven. You can buy some toasters. You can buy some coffee machines. And, look, some game consoles. Some not an Xbox or a PS4. Totally not. It's something else. Not a PS5, you guys. Totally not a PS5. Uh-huh. Yup. Laptops at three grand. That's a lot for that. And TVs at five fifty right now. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, six eighty two. The price is too high. So I'm assuming that oh, it's an iMac. That the prices change each day, and you base your purchasing decisions on that, and then do that dang thing. But yes, the, the butcher stuff requires you to have a you know fridge. Uh, and I'm not sure if that's the same thing for the vegetables, but you can buy some fine, fine meats here. But you need a place to store them in the cold. In the freezing cold. So that's, I totally mess that up. Buy some watermelons and some uh, cucumbers and some peppers and, you know, vegetables, potatoes. So, this is Trader Life Simulator. Out now on Steam. It, it is 20 bucks regular. I don't know how to get clean. I'm a tax lug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.